Let's do a beautiful sum. This is going to be very interesting. Let's see the sum. Here we have a figure and it says that in triangle ABC, D is a point on side BC such that angle BAC and angle ADC both are congruent. And we need to prove CA square is equal to CB into CD. The moment we see the two proof, we think CA square equal to CB into CD. How do we get that? It's very simple. For this sum, we need to first understand how to analyze this two proof. I'll give you a hint. We'll get this provided we get something. Right? Now, what is that? Listen to this very carefully. When we look at the left hand side, CA square means it is CA into CA. That means it's a product. And on the right hand side, it is a product. So whenever we have any two proof where we want a product equal to product, there's a way to think. What is that way to think? Very simple. Product equal to product. When we want two products to be equal, when will you get that? If you get two ratios to be equal. Because you can write this in the form of a ratio right here. Because when we have two ratios equal, just cross multiply, you get product. So remember, go the reverse. We want two products to be equal. That will happen when two ratios are equal. Now when will we get two ratios to be equal? We get two ratios to be equal when two triangles are similar. So the question is, for getting this two ratios equal, we need to consider two triangles and prove them similar. But which two triangles? In the figure, there are three triangles. You will say, no, two. No, there are three. Why? Because these are the two smaller ones and the bigger one. So we need to decide which two out of the three. It's very simple. In any two proof, if there is a square, that makes our life very simple. Because we want CA square, that means we want CA how many times? Two times. So consider two triangles which contain CA. See, one triangle which contains CA is the bigger one, ABC, right? And the other triangle which contains CA is the smaller one, CAD, isn't it? Easy, very simple, right? So now we have identified the two triangles. So one is going to be triangle ABC, the bigger one, the other one is the smaller triangle ABC there. Easy? Even if you don't have square, still, in any sum, if you don't have square, still, we can identify. How? From the ratio, look, numerator, numerator will give you one triangle. I'm not joking. Serious. Numerator, numerator, C A and C B, C A and C B gives you the triangle A B C. Look at the denominator. Denominator, denominator gives you the other triangle. C D and C A, C D, C D and C A gives you the other triangle, the smaller one. That's how you do it. So simple, right? Now once you've got the triangle, you consider both the triangles. In both the triangles, there's one pair of angle which is already congruent, right? Let's write them. Angle B A C, congruent to angle A D C. Why? Because it is given. Do we have one more pair of angle which is congruent? Yes, the common angle there, C. So we write angle C congruent to angle C and the reason is common angle. So now we say, yes, both the triangles are similar. But now, be careful. When we write these two triangles similar, it has to be as per the one-to-one -one correspondence. And believe me, it's very simple when it is by A test. Why it is very simple is, suppose you take the name of the bigger triangle. Define one triangle. Let's take the name of the bigger triangle as ABC, right? Now in the bigger triangle ABC, angle A is congruent to which one of the smaller triangle D. So wherever you have A, that corresponds to what? D, right? Okay. And there's one more pair of angle which is congruent in both C. So C corresponds to C. So whatever is left is the third vertex. So that means if you take the name of the bigger triangle as ABC, in front of A you're going to write here D, in front of C you're going to write C. So what is left? B will correspond to D. So that means the name of the other triangle should be DAC. Isn't this very interesting, right? This is very important, but you need to write it as per the one-to-one -one correspondence. And the triangles are similar by a, a test of similarity. We got this similar, right? Once we get them similar, we did all this to get the ratios. Now we know that when triangles are similar, the ratio of the corresponding sides are equal. But take only those ratios which we want. We want CA how many times? Two times. So just go for that. C A, take C A here, observe C A, its corresponding side here is C D, right? So we write C A upon C D. We took one C A now, the other C A is going to be in the other triangle here. Look here, C A, so its corresponding side here is B C, so we write B C upon C A, we write that, right? The reason is nothing but corresponding sides of similar triangle. Now just cross multiply, so what do we get? C A into C A gives us C A square. And that is equal to what? That is equal to C B into C D. And we got the proof, was that easy? Beautiful sum, right? Very important.